What happens when a wedding turns into a business deal? Welcome to the world of Natalie Quinn, a young woman about to walk down the aisle, not for love, but for a hefty sum of money. A deal struck between her father George and her stepmother Lauren hinges on her saying I do to the notorious Sebastian Klein. Three weeks before the wedding, the air buzzes with anticipation in a luxurious venue. George Quinn, a man of optimism, tries to soothe his anxious daughter. Your groom will be here soon, Natalie, he assures her. But Natalie is not comforted. She's stern, her voice echoing through the room. Just be sure that as long as I do this, you'll give me the money, right? Lauren Quinn, the stepmother, nods in agreement, promising the money once the wedding is over. Natalie, however, is not easily swayed. She's skeptical, issuing a stern warning. You better keep your word. The guests whisper among themselves, their disbelief palpable. Can you believe they're marrying their daughter to Sebastian Klein? One whispers. He's a bastard and an outcast. I heard he hangs out with thugs all the time, and he can't keep a job. Another guest chimes in. Oh, and he's late for his own wedding. Cassie Quinn, Natalie's stepsister, seizes the opportunity to taunt her. Excited for your wedding? She mocks. How does it feel marrying a bastard child? Not even his own family showed up for his wedding. Clearly they don't value him. Oh, and I also heard he's ugly, as... Natalie cuts her off, urging for respect. Can you be quiet? At least show some respect. Then, the atmosphere shifts. Sebastian Klein, notorious and yet enigmatic, enters the venue. He apologizes for his tardiness, approaching Natalie with an air of mystery. Excuse me, he says, I'm sorry I'm late. You must be the bride. I'm your groom, Sebastian Klein. And just like that, the room falls silent. The wedding, the deal, the whispers all come to a halt as Sebastian Klein makes his late arrival. What happens next? Well, that's a story for another time.